Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Late last year, I posted a video that Google Play Games was going to be coming to Windows 10 and Windows 11 this year in 2022. So basically what this means is that you'll be able to play Android games, not just on Windows 11, but also your Windows 10 device. Now, just to do a quick follow-up video to that previous video, as there have been some new developments that have um, started to take place regarding the Google Play Games app for PC and desktop. And just to do a quick recap at first, in case you're unaware, at the beginning of this year, um, Google made the app available uh, for three regions at first, those being Hong Kong, South Korea, and Taiwan. And then in August, they rolled the app out to South Korea and Australia. And now um, the latest is that as of the 2nd of November, um, although the app is still in beta, um, Google has started to roll out the uh, Google Play Games app for PC and desktop to eight more regions, those being now the United States, Canada, Mexico, Brazil, Indonesia, the Philippines, Malaysia, and Singapore. Now, as you can see, unfortunately, I'm not currently in one of those regions. And um, what I'll do is I will leave a a link to this page in the description if you are in one of the regions that is currently supported where you can come download and try out the app directly and if you are like me and are not in a region that is supported you can always sign up and get notified now the app is still in beta which means it's still in preview um, but nonetheless um, just to give you a kind of a, a wider perspective of what to expect regarding the Google Play Games app for PC now at this stage there are only 85 games that you can play on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So it's not just Windows 11, you can also play those games on Windows 10, only 85 games though. And this is not to be confused with the Amazon App Store Android app support, which uses the Windows subsystem for Android WSA to run on Windows 11. This has got nothing to do with that and is a completely separate app um, that's rolled out and maintained and developed by Google and has nothing to do with Microsoft. Now, if we just take a look at the web page, which will just give us a bit of a more in-depth kind of look at what to expect. Use your mouse and keyboard to gain agility and boost your performance. So this just gives us a bit of a better idea. Immerse yourself in the game like never before. And if you are using the Google ecosystem, you can um, sync your progress and game library across your uh, different devices. So if you are using the app on Android and desktop, you can sync between your different devices, which I think is quite nice and, and would be quite handy. And um, because it is linked to the Play Store, you can earn rewards as you play and you can get your Google Play points at the same time. Now, just to see and have a look at the minimum requirements to run the actual app and Google Play games on your PC. These are the minimum requirements. Windows 10, 2004 and later. You'll need an SSD, gaming class GPU, eight logical cores of CPU, a minimum of eight gigs of RAM, 20 gigabytes of um, storage space, a Windows administrator account, hardware virtualization must be turned on and a compatible PC device and configuration. So just take note of that, that, that those are the minimum requirements. And then um, when is the official release? Um, Google says the official release date will vary among regions. They'll start with the beta regions of Australia, Hong Kong, South Korea, Taiwan, and Thailand, and then they'll expand to other regions later in 2022 and beyond. So um, as mentioned, I think this will start rolling out as the stable version sometime next year in 2023. But nonetheless, just wanted to keep you up to date just to let you know that the beta version now is available in those eight new regions, as mentioned. And um, if you are in one of those regions, I'll leave a link in the description to that website. And if anything does change, I will let you know and post accordingly. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.